Hi friends, welcome to today's dance class with San Francisco Ballet. Today you're going to get to take a dance class with one of the fantastic dance teaching artists from San Francisco Ballet's Dance in Schools and Communities program. Have you ever wanted to take ballet or learn samba, hip hop, Bollywood, or West African dance? Well, now's your chance. All summer long, San Francisco Ballet and Stern Grove Festival's education programs are working together to provide you free dance classes all summer long. Don't worry if you've never taken a dance class before. All you need to do is make sure that you have a safe space around you to dance in, that you listen to the instructions, and that you have fun during dance class. All of us at San Francisco Ballet have really missed dancing with all of you during the pandemic, and we look forward to being back in person with you soon. Thanks for joining us today for today's dance class. Are you ready to meet your dance teachers? Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Kyra and I'm with San Francisco Ballet's Dance in Schools and Communities program. I am super excited to dance with you today because I have a fun lesson planned for you based off a very special dance that I learned growing up. This is a dance form, maybe you can guess it, that is based in Japan. This is a dance form that requires not big body movements, but small gestures and detailed movements where you become a storyteller with a fan. Can anyone guess what this is called? This is called Nihonbuyo, otherwise known as Japanese fan dancing. This is a very traditional form where you use the fan to tell stories to symbolize things like mountains, like shyness, like falling flower petals to the ground. But we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Our schedule today is going to go like this. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the history of Nihonbuyo. Then we're going to learn the dance to a song called Sakura. And then lastly, we're going to do the dance all together, but with music. If you're ready to go, can I see you whip out your fan or your hand if you're going to use that and fan yourself, give yourself a little dramatic fan. Very nice job. And let's get going. Now the history of Nihonboyo goes a little bit like this. It was really two forms combined to make one. That is Odori, which came out of the Edo period and Kabuki drama, and no Kyogen Theater, which combined made Nihonbuyo. Nowadays, Nihonbuyo is performed at religious ceremonies with a fan called a sensu and a kimono on. Now, something else that is very important to Japanese culture is the cherry blossom, or as we're going to refer to it as the sakura. Now, sakura represents a lot of different things in Japanese culture, but mostly springtime and new beginnings. If you have ever seen Sakura in season, it is absolutely breathtaking and I highly recommend that you go see if you haven't. It kind of looks like when the petals are falling, a flower petal storm. And you know what that's called in Japanese? Sakura Fubuki. Say Sakura Fubuki. Nice. Now that experience of walking through the petals and enjoying the springtime is what our dance is going to be about. We're going to watch the sakura petals fall and enjoy our time in the spring. Now, come on, let's get dancing. All right, friends, what did you think of that dance, that sakura dance? I'm wondering, what did you observe? What did you see me do with my hands, with my fan, 
with my legs, and with even my facial expression because that's a part of the dance too. Well, we're going to break it down, so don't worry. First off, our Nihon Buyo stance starts with our knees because did you see me do a lot of standing up tall like this? No, we're not on our tippy toes. We're bending down a little bit into our knees like we're sitting in a very small chair. Can I see that? Very nice job. And now, did you see me doing something with this hand? I wonder what you saw me doing. I was holding on like this, not to show my muscles, but to grab onto the sleeve of my kimono. I don't have a kimono right now, but I like to imagine I do and hold on like this because it's a part of the dance. So bent knees, holding onto the sleeve of the kimono, and my fan is out. This is our starting position. Very good, covering part of our face, and our bodies aren't facing the front, they're facing this corner, opposite of where we're going to start from. Can I see that? Three, two, pop into it, one. Very nice job. Very nice job. Now we're going to start from the edge of our stage. Can I meet you over there? Start from the edge and we're going to shuffle in because in Nihon Buyo, when you're wearing a kimono, trust me, you cannot step huge steps like this, only very tiny shuffles. So shuffle on over here and we're going to shuffle in in three, two, one, shuffling, knees bent, holding on to the edge of our kimono, body facing this corner, and covering part of our face. Very nice! Awesome, now we're going to continue on from here. We are going to float this fan up and then bring it down. Now this arm stays here the whole time to hold onto our sleeve. We are swinging this arm this right arm that's holding our fan down towards the ground to float upwards. And then these are going to represent our flower petals, our sakura petals floating towards the ground. I'm imagining that I am drawing a big S in the air, like a curvy noodle in the air, and we're painting it down. And it lands right here. Can I see that? Starting, floating up, and big curvy noodle. Very beautiful job. And notice that when I land right here, my fan is trying as much as it can to open up towards the audience. Not here or here, right? All right, starting position one more time. Floating up and circling, essing, curving down. Now, where does our fan want to go, you think? It's going to go around us, continuing that momentum to circle and cut the air around ourselves. Let's try that again. Beginning. Going up and curvy noodle and cutting the air in a circle around us to land right here. Does that make sense? Beautiful job. So we are right here. Now we are going to focus on one arm at a time. Let's focus on this arm. This arm is going to imagine that we are shielding ourselves from the sun. Have you ever been at the beach and it is so bright and you're like, ah, I forgot my sunglasses. We're going to do exactly that. This arm is right here. It's going to circle towards our body, opening up our hand and then shielding ourselves from the light. Do you notice how my hand is flat, not like this, flat. Practice that one more time, just this arm. Left, going in towards our body, circling out, 
flat shielding from the sun. Meanwhile, this fan hand is going to go in and around. Now that's a lot of moving parts. Let's try just this hand. It is here. It's going to go up to go down again. It's just replacing itself. It looks kind of fancy just because you have a fan, but it's just going in one big old circle. I know you can do it. Nice. Now, once you think you have the hang of that, I want you to add in that extra arm going into yourself and then posing out. Starting again, going into yourself and posing out. Does that make sense? One more time. Going into yourself to pose out. Very good job. And now you already have this motion down. You are going to do the exact same thing, but on the other side, like so. Let's sew that down a little bit. Just focusing on this hand again, that is already shielding us from the sun. It's going to go into ourselves, flat palm. Now we're going, no ground. Try that again, no ground. Notice how my body is not turned this way anymore. It's turned to this corner. Boom, turn your body. Turn your body. Very good. I'm also wearing socks, so it might be a little bit easier to turn if you have some socks on too. Boom. And now what does this hand do? Can anyone tell me? It's going to go up in a circle towards ourselves and around to now shield us from the sun. It's going to go like so. Let's try that from the beginning. Give me a thumbs up if you're good to go. Awesome, okay, let's try it. We are going to shuffle in, shuffle in, shuffle in, shuffle in, shuffle in, and stop, going up, and floating down, and cutting a big circle, around ourselves, shielding ourselves from the sun, shielding ourselves on the other side. How's that look, everyone? Looking good? All right, let's try one more time, okay? Going in, a little bit faster this time, going up, Falling down, cutting a circle around ourselves, shielding from the sun and other side. Nice. Now meet me here. What's going to happen next is a little bit trickier, so I want you to watch. We are going to close our fan just to open it again. So one more time. We're right here. We are shielding ourselves very effectively from the sun. Now, we are going to use this hand to close the fan and turn our body. Close fan, turn body. And now we're going to do a little inch step forward so that we can open it up again and fan it out. One more time, we are here. Close the fan, turn your body, inch forward, and open up your fan. Now notice where my fan is now. It's not where it's been before, down here. It's right near our shoulder, up here, so that we could really display that beautiful picture that's on our fan. And notice, Am I holding my fan like this? No, I'm holding it with my fingers together like so. 
so my hands can look as pretty as they can, and so can the picture. Very nice. All right, so shielding, closing, turning, inching, and opening. Gorgeous, very beautiful. And now I'm also leaning back a little bit into my band. Very good job. Now we are going to turn for our bodies into this corner. We're facing the same corner that we were looking at before. And now we're going to turn. And as we turn, we are going to switch the fan to the other side. And now I want you to walk. And this time when you walk, you're going to switch again because you're very fun and unpredictable that way. You're on this side. Boom. It doesn't matter which uh, foot you walk with first, as long as you're walking forward. Boom. But do notice that my head leans to the other side too, whichever way my fan is at. Very good. So maybe let's try it one more time from the top in our starting position. We are going up and flowing down, cutting around ourselves and shielding ourselves from the sun and closing, turning, inching, opening the fan, turning our body and stepping forward. It's a lot of steps, but you are doing great. So we have turned our fan. We're on the shoulder. Now we're walking forward onto this shoulder. Again, leaning towards the fan. Very nice job. Now we are going to step forward three times, similar to a ballet pas de bourre. Just three little steps. Pas de bourre. Little three steps. And I'm also going up, down, up. Up, down, up. And in that last up, I'm also kind of settling into it. Very nice job. Okay, so one more time from the beginning, going a little bit faster at our new section. It is going up, falling down, cutting all around ourselves, shielding ourselves, from the sun. And then we are closing, turning, opening our fan, going right, going left, three little steps. How does that look? How does it feel in your body? Good? Okay, well, we're going to continue on. We are here. And now, we are almost done. We've done so much already. We are here just enjoying the view of our cherry blossoms. We are going to do a kind of tricky thing here where we're switching the grip of our fan. I'm going to grab it from the base now. And because my fan won't stay open like a normal Nihonbuyo fan, I'm going to hold it like this. You can hold it however feels good in your hand. We're here. Switch the grip, and we're going to go down in like a figure eight shape. We are going down, crossing over our body, and up. So just practice that movement. I'm also stepping forward, but just practice the arms. Boom, and boom. Crossing over, crossing over. And when you cross over, you're going to step forward and back and forward and back. Again, noticing that flat hand, very good. And forward and back. Oh, you guys have it. Put that fan back on your shoulder and switch the grip. Practice, go down and up. One more time, down and up. Oh my gosh, you guys are so great at this. Okay, now 
We are here, and guess what? We just have one more pose and then we're done. So we are here. I want you to turn that fan, like we've been doing such a great job before, cutting into ourselves in a little circle, posing down where that fan was in those first few movements. Here, fan arm goes this way, and this hand goes up to shield ourselves again. Okay, down and up down and up and we are turning our hands uh, again does that make sense all right can i see that maybe just practice this sweeping motion sweeping motion again slowing it down our hands circle into each other to pose and shield ourselves from the sun. Very beautiful. You feel beautiful. Again, facing that chest out towards this corner, bending our knees a little bit. Let's try it that from the very beginning, from the top, going to the edge of our stage. Let's go. Three, two, one, and shuffling in, shuffling in, shuffling in pose and going up floating down cutting around ourselves in a circle shielding ourselves from the sun closing our fan and opening to our shoulder right left facing opposite corner three little steps fanning out fanning out finding a moment to pose yourself now do you notice how i was really sinking into that position you know how it was with my head tilts like so. One more time. My head goes towards the back and towards our audience. And I look with as much drama as I can towards my hand like this. Can you try that? Oh, very dramatic. You guys are all great at Nihon Buyo. Now we're going to try it with music, shall we? Okay, just one moment. All right, places for our Nihon Buyo dance and to the edges of our stage. Let's go. And I'll cue you guys through with words. Shuffling in to enter, stop. Going up, petals down, floating around yourself in a circle, shielding yourselves from the sun, closing. Beautiful. Fanning out, fanning out, beautiful everyone can I see that one more time but we are going to do it to music and I'm not going to say anything lips are sealed because I know that you can do it and if you don't feel super confident right now that is a-okay you can practice as much as you want with this video this music and your fan let's see it okay places for our Nihon Buyo dance let's go
do. Oh my gosh. I just know you were all so beautiful. You tried your best and you were great. Give yourselves a little fan for all of that hard work that you did, a pat on the back and a big old squeeze to yourself. You did so great. Thank you so much for dancing with me, everyone. Give yourselves one more fan and pat on the back because you did such an amazing job. I want you to hide your face one last time and show me how you felt about that dance. In three, two, one. Oh my gosh, nice. Thanks so much for dancing with me and I hope to dance with you again soon. Bye everyone, hope you're having a great summer.